I'm Kyle. Um, I'm the red paperclip guy. It's pretty bizarre what ends up happening uh, when you leave school and you get to go and try stuff out that you, you've learned or you pick up on the way. And uh, here's my story. A Canadian man is a jack of all trades. He has traded a red paperclip for a fish-shaped pen, traded that for a doorknob and then a camp stove to a generator. One of the offers, four months free rent in a tricked-down Hollywood apartment, not bad, including unlimited use of a convertible Porsche. A Montreal man has successfully traded up a red paper clip for a new home. And today, in front of a crowd of media and hundreds of adoring fans, Kyle McDonald picked up his keys. 365 days later, a wacky idea ends in success in the town of Kipling. This young man's been getting a lot of attention this week. He dreamed of owning a home without spending one red cent. And believe it or not, he did it using one red paper clip. I realized it wasn't my dream job to be delivering used appliances in uh, inner city neighborhoods in the middle of summer. So I'd, I said, I'm going to stop working and I'm going to come up with a bunch of ideas and apply those somehow. But I didn't want to be a flake on the couch sitting there in the summer watching the Olympics, writing down ideas on a piece of paper for the rest of my life. I wanted to provide, although I really wanted to do something I enjoyed. So I was sort of torn between picking up a garbage job just to pay the bills or really putting my passion into coming up with ideas. And when you provide and you work in a relationship, um, the other person is very happy. And when Dom's happy, she shoots rainbows out of her mittens. <laughs> so this is what I was aiming for. <laughs> so I got an email from a random friend from high school, and she said, hey, remember we used to play that game, Bigger and Better? And when we were growing up in Port Moody, there was this game that people used to play, and it was called Bigger and Better. And you'd start with a small object, like a, a remote control for a slide projector, or a paper clip or a sp spoon, and you would go around the neighborhood, kind of like a scavenger hunt, cross with trick-or-treating, knock on doors and say, hey, we're playing bigger and better, we're trying to swap whatever we got for something bigger, do you want to trade with us? And if you went out and knocked on enough doors and you convinced people, you could end up trading up successfully for something quite a bit bigger. I said, maybe I could play bigger and better. Maybe I could go out there, trade things, maybe sell it on the internet, and that could, that could be my job. I could, I could be that guy. And I looked down at my desk, and the first thing I saw was this red paperclip. I mean, there's got to be a lesson here, right, for, for everybody. I mean, not everyone's going to be able to do what you did, right? Or, or could we? I think if you have the right idea, you can make it happen. And that's the message. You know, start your idea. If you have a red paperclip, a quote-unquote metaphor for an idea, get out there and trade it away. Don't hold on to it forever. You can always trade it up. Yeah, trade up. What's that? This guy, he started with a paperclip and traded for a pen. Then he kept on trading till he ended up with a house. I'm gonna turn this guitar pick into a recording studio. There's definitely some highlights. At one point, I wound up on, on stage with Alice Cooper. He said, you're offering me an afternoon with Alice Cooper? She said, yeah, yeah, what do you think? And I said, yes, let's do this right away. Um, how often is the chance to spend an afternoon with like a living legend rock star who's made a cameo in Wayne's World come up? let alone trade that afternoon. Is that a good trade? A house well, to Alice? It depends. If you need a place to live and you don't like Alice Cooper, no. <laughs> but if you don't need a place to live and you love Alice Cooper, it's perfect. So what really, my, I guess my advice would be that, what's your paperclip? What's the one thing that you, you have an idea for? You know, the idea, the, the potential. Don't hold on to it. Tell people about it. Try it. Start that website. Pick up the phone. Get out there. Travel. Um, Trading away your paperclip might be the best thing you ever do. You, you never know up how it's going to end up, but as long as you keep things interesting and positive along the way, you never know. You, you traveling like New York to California, is there anywhere you won't go for this deal? I will go anywhere in the world except for Yak, British Columbia. <laughs> why, that, why is that? Well, I need to say I won't go somewhere, and Yak seems like a great place not to go. So, Kyle, are you intending to change this to something else? That's right. It's one year of rent on a house. I'm going to retrade it so I can keep working towards my goal of an actual house. Uh. Bert Roach from Kipling, Saskatchewan called me up one day and says, Kyle, it's official. The town of Kipling is willing to trade you a house located at 503 Main Street. But not only that, we will name July 12th official paperclip day. <laughs> you and your girlfriend Dom will be citizens for life. You'll be mayor for the day. 
We'll give you the key to the city, and then we will build the world's largest red paperclip. <laughs> The town of Kipling has a thousand people. Over the Labor Day weekend, over 3,000 people showed up. There was people in from Europe, all over North America. Definitely a lot of people from Saskatchewan. And it was just a huge party. Uh, a lot of people had followed the story, and we all got a chance to meet up at the end and have this amazing... It was kind of like the end of a Scooby-Doo episode, where all the villain characters come together at the end. That's how it was described by uh, a friend of mine, Nirvan. There's 12 of the 14 traders in town, the people I traded with, they're all here, and when we, I'm gonna try and get everyone on stage at the same time. I was overwhelmed. We, I was like almost like in tears. I'd been working for an entire year, sometimes 14, 15 hours a day, and to finally like, you know, cut the ribbon and have the Mountie sign the title deed to the house, it was like finishing a marathon or something. It was a huge, I guess it was achievement in a way, but I'm kind of surprised it was all over, but also very excited to kind of make the next step happen. One of the most exciting things was that Every person I met along the way was there in Kipling. 12 out of the 14 people I traded with could make it. If I hadn't traded away the paperclip, I'd just be a guy leaning against the wall with a picture of a paperclip on my shoulder. I would have never got to meet Jody and Sean and everyone along the way and all these connections I made with people. And we never had a plan. All I had was ideas and we built it as we went. But I kind of think it worked out quite well. So it was an amazing experience on all fronts, and it kind of opened my eyes to what it takes to make things happen. We bought every single thing in the store. The receipt's 57 and a half feet long. Perfectly fancy grocery. Uh, this is the last day in business. We're completely sold out. Best sales day ever. Hey, you're that red paperclip guy. You set up that website, you traded the red paperclip for a house. Something like that, yeah. But I want to figure out who they are, track them down, and hear their story behind this picture, because I think this is a great picture. As long as you're looking for things that you enjoy, I think it's going to benefit not only yourself, but everyone around.